If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulder of giants. This was said by Isaac Newton and holds true for all of us who are trying to learn and do something with our lives online. I am Dr. Amrita and you are listening to the Health Wealth Witch Podcast. Shubha Vijaya, today is the last day of the Durga Puja celebrations and my mom is finally back home from the hospital after a very serious acute gastroenteritis condition. Luckily, she is doing better now and is with my sister at her home. While getting my mother admitted to a hospital, I realize how much we depend on referrals, recommendation and doctors whom we know personally and who has been referred by someone who we trust. That's why I thought about talking about this topic on my podcast today. I believe books are our ways of finding the giants who can help us. With the world wide web, it's not impossible for someone like me to learn from say the famous Seth Gordon or say Stephen King. Books are my way of learning from them. That's why when I podcast or write, I always talk about books or blogs or you know other resources that I find from which I learn. As Seth Gordon says, don't shave the yak. You really don't need to make things difficult to make progress. When I started blogging, I felt several gaps in my resources. The gaps became like creators when I started writing my books. But when it came to marketing, I was absolutely lost. Content marketing, whatever was that. Doctors don't need to market themselves, right? Our degrees are enough to convince sensible people that we know what we are talking about, right? No, wrong. Because if you see the many health bloggers, health gurus, celebrity health advisors, health coaches, few if any are doctors or even have any degrees in the medical field. The problem with that is twofold. One, there is a cycle of misrepresentation and misinformation. You will see white coated models claiming to give nutritional and health information on advertisements on TV for times immemorial. Even now it goes on with very small disclaimers written below. Only in some of the ads do you see dentists with their credentials written below. But not real doctors will be seen advertising because that's not something we do. This cycle of misrepresentation and misinformation by influencers, by advertisers cause a big problem. But when you trust them, you harm your own self in the long run. So always check the academic professional credentials of the person whose health, nutrition, fitness, wellness or even financial advice you are following because unless they are qualified to do so, you are gambling with your health. This is a topic I can talk a lot about but few days back a friend on Instagram talked about knowing the difference between a life coach, health coach, a psychologist and a psychiatrist. It was a very sensible post and a very helpful one too. She tagged a few accounts in this regards. For privacy reasons, I am not talking about the person or the people she tagged. But the doctor who was tagged definitely talked about the need and the necessity of always consulting a medical professional that is a psychiatrist with an MD degree in psychiatry for mental health queries. It's very important you take timely advice from a qualified professional. The life coach informed that she never treated schizophrenia. Now this got me thinking again. It takes years of medical training to even diagnose a mental health disorder properly and treating it is a whole new ball game. And taking it so lightly as to say we never treat schizophrenia means that you assume you can diagnose schizophrenia. That's not easy and this should not be taken lightly. It depends on you as a seeker of medical care to find the right professional because for online consultation especially, it's best if you consult a doctor you know or you know someone who has, you know, Uh, been helped by the services of the doctor or been recommended by someone who has personally 
use the services of that doctor or that doctor is part of a professional network where the credentials of the doctor are verified. Always check the credential of doctors on LinkedIn, Livret or platforms where such transparency is practiced. Social media is not the right place to find doctors to consult. Do not opt for doctors without degrees because honestly they are called quacks. Self-declared health experts also are quacks to some extent and you taking their advice for your health care is the biggest ex example of gambling you can do. So that's not a good idea. There's a reason medical education takes time and experience. So don't gamble with your health because your health is your most precious wealth. Even when I am a doctor, my husband is a doctor, when we are looking for doctors, we check their credentials. Because honestly, you don't know anybody on social media personally, right? Even if you know, if you want a professional opinion, go to a professional. You shouldn't go just because somebody said that's a health coach and she is good, her Instagram posts are great. That's not the reason you consult somebody for your healthcare needs. So what does Seth Gordon have to do with all this? Well, Seth Gordon in his book said, you know, the book, This is Marketing, he said something very important. Marketing is your chance to spread the word about you. If you have valuable information, you must spread the word because that's your best way of making a difference to the people who matter. If you have a good business, which is helping people and you want to spread the word, you can send me an email at dramrita at the rate of healthwellbridge.com and if it suits the topic of my podcast, I may give you a shout out. That's all for tonight. Thank you. You are listening to the Health Well Bridge podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Health Well Bridge and I'm Dr. Amrita, ENT surgeon based in Kolkata. Thank you so much for listening.